Sweetheart, you're mistaken. There is no mistake, Daddy. I just walked in on them having sex in his studio. Whitney, is this true? Tell Simone that she's wrong. Tell her that you can never do this to your own sister. Have you been sneaking around behind our backs? Are you and Chad? Dad and I weren't sneaking around. We truly love each other. I have devoted my entire life for your tennis career, working two jobs to pay for private lessons and travel expenses, taking time off from work so you can be where you're supposed to be, to be ready and to be on time. Daddy, please. And this is how you repay me? By being out all night having sex with Chad? Whitney, how could you do this? How could you do this? You want to continue playing tennis. So dating Chad is out. As of right now, Chad has never seen you or Simone ever again. No, no, Daddy, I love him, no! After last night, nothing around here is ever gonna be the same again. Hey, I, I'm surprised that, that you're up so soon. Sweetheart, I had to rise and shine. Whitney has a match today. Surely you don't expect Whitney to play tennis today. Sweetheart, what are you talking about? Nothing's changed. DC, what is wrong with you? Everything has changed. Everything has changed? Honey, what are you talking about? DC, do you have amnesia? Our family nearly came apart at the seams last night. Sweetheart, you're over-exaggerating, okay? I mean, we had some issues to deal with last night, and we dealt with them. Things are fine now. No. No, they are not. Simone is furious at Whitney. She thinks that she used sex to steal Chad away from her. And Whitney's hating herself because she thinks that she's upset you and Simone. Sweetheart, you're making too much out of this. No. No, I'm not. Whitney is in love with Chad. And last night you attacked him right in front of her and then forbade her to ever see him again. Sweetheart, Chad was a momentary blip on the radar screen. Now he's gone. Now Whitney will forget about him in no time. Whitney is on the brink of a meltdown, TC. She's in love with Chad. She is humiliated about the way we all found out. Sweetheart, would you please calm down? Okay, so maybe it's just me. I'm just speaking gibberish and I don't even know it. Sweetheart, you're not speaking gibberish. You're speaking nonsense, okay? But listen, Chad is out of our lives forever, okay? So why don't you go back upstairs, get yourself some sleep, and I will take our daughter to her next tennis match, okay? You cannot expect Whitney to play tennis today. Sweetheart, you are underestimating our daughter. Whitney will be ready to play tennis today, guaranteed. Well, I'm not so sure, and I want to know that you're not going to be angry or disappointed if she's not. <laughs> disappointed? There's my little girl right there. All raring and ready to go, right, sweetheart? <laughs> yes. Sweetie, are you sure you feel up to playing tennis today after everything that happened last night? Of course oh. she does, sweetheart. I mean, Whitney's not a quitter. She is a champion, and she's ready to win. So, sweetheart, quit being a downer, okay? I just want to make sure that Whitney is really up to playing after. Sweetheart, tell your mother. Tell her that you're ready to go, okay? Mom, I'm, I'm okay. See? I told you. Now, honey, I want you to get a good breakfast, okay? Good, hearty breakfast, and then we'll go, okay? Um, shh. I really don't feel much like eating this morning, Daddy, if that's okay. Sweetheart, you have to eat because you won't have any energy to play your best, all right? To be honest, I've been feeling a little queasy since last night, so maybe I'll grab a, uh, a breakfast bar or something well, on the baby, way. Well, baby, the so reason why you're feeling queasy is because you need to eat. Now, your daddy's going to make you a big old hearty breakfast, some eggs, some bacon, some fresh-squeezed orange juice, you know, your pregame meal, and we're just going to go and get them, all right? All right, no, no. Daddy, please stop pushing me. I don't want to eat. Honey, it's okay. Your dad cannot push you into doing anything that you don't want to do. Yeah, your mom's right. I didn't mean to harp on you having such a big breakfast. Go ahead and get the breakfast bar and just eat it in the car. Baby, 
What is the matter with you? Look at her. She's all crying and shaky. It's obvious that she's not fit to go anywhere. Honey, I'm sorry, okay? I know that you're not feeling 100% after what happened last night, but let me be honest with you, okay? The match that you lost on Thanksgiving really hurt us. It put you way back in rankings, all right? Yeah. Now, we need to get back on the winning team. Okay? I know, Daddy. I know. But... All right, good. So, let's get going. No! No, T.C., she's not going anywhere. What do you mean she's not going anywhere? Just what I said. Whitney is my daughter, and I love her dearly. So, what's the problem? Look at her, T.C. Just look at her. Really look at her. She's not in any shape to go anywhere. She's a physical and emotional wreck from last night. Whitney has to play today. Her future in tennis depends on it. I don't care. She's not up to playing. Honey, is your mom right? Huh? Are you too tired to play in the most important tennis match of your life? Because if you are, just tell me, okay? But you have to realize if you bail out now, it's going to send your ranking right into the toilet. So what's it going to be, sweetheart? Are you going to play? Or are you not going to play? So, honey, are you ready to play tennis or not? I know this is a very important match. To... Good girl, baby. Good girl. Okay, come on, let's go. Whitney, are you sure about this? I don't want you to feel pressured into playing. If you don't feel up to it, honey, there is no shame in saying so. Damn it, E, why don't you just stop it, okay? Why are you trying to destroy our dreams, huh? You just heard Whitney say that she's ready. She's ready to play. Her mind is back on track. She's forgotten all about Chad. Chad is out of her life for good. No, he's not. Daddy, I love Chad. I can't forget about him. Sweetheart, we have already been through this, okay? You can't have it both ways. I told you that Chad is nothing but a user and a punk. All right, so just forget about him and just come with me. We have a match to win. Come on, let's go. You cannot be serious. Are you going to stand here and tell me you can't see how upset this child is? Well, she's going to be more upset if she misses and is kicked out of the circuit, which is exactly what's going to happen if you're no-show. Now, come on, Whitney, get your coat and let's go. No, TC! She is not going to play tennis because I forbid it. 